Evolutions. I made a video about how they needed help. It did so-so considering my typical average views. So I decided to absolutely torture myself thinking it was a good idea to create an entire team of these adorable evolution fox cat dogs and try to reach Master Ball with them. This is the story of what transpired and what I learned about evolutions. Is there more to us than the words we say? The games we play, can we know that we're not dreaming? Evolutions. They're adorable. Absolutely adorable. They each know moves and have abilities that turn the tide into your favor depending on the team they're placed on. And they each are built in fundamentally different ways for the tasks they are often assigned with. But the community only ever uses one of them compared to the other seven still. So, my story begins with that. Thinking to myself, this can't possibly go wrong. Other people told me... Good luck. You're gonna need it. And so, after assembling a team of VVs that would make even Penny jealous, I charged into ranks with dreams of glory and honor to recount the story of how I achieved Master Ball using only a team of evolutions, hoping to prove that you can win with them. My first battle was actually interesting because I stared down a very familiar Pokemon that I myself used frequently in Sword and Shield, Lorantis. But that was about the only thing interesting besides maybe the Metacham who didn't even appear in the battle. A couple of Hyper Voices, Dazzling Gleams, and my VVs took their first win, instantly getting into the Ultra Ball rank. You're doing good, lad! <laughs> The next fight was against two Paradoxes and a Miascarada team with Skeletor, Dragonite, and Talonflame. Excellent! A chance to prove myself against Paradox Pokemon. Now, before this fight, I had felt confident. I had tested this team against a Paradox team with Dondozo Tatsugiri, and it actually won quite handily. Though, the trainer using it was not on par with me in terms of skill level, as he was still relatively new to BGC. I managed to set up Trick Room, but lost my Terra user turn 1, and I was staring down a Dragonite in Trick Room with a Vaporeon who couldn't do much damage to a Fluttermane while my opponent had access to the Terra still. I ended up forfeiting because I saw no way to win that without massive levels of unfortunate luck on my opponent's part, as well because of the fact that both of my Pokemon were on their last limbs, and I only had one Evolution left in the, res in the reserve. It was alright. I was prepared for losses, so I pushed on and moved on. Next battle will be better, right? Well, I read my opponent's moves, I calculated my best chances of victory, and after 10 minutes of playing chess, I still lost to two Paradox Pokemon. Next battle, I pulled a surprise normal Flareon with Facade and Guts to one-shot my opponent's Volcarona and Baby Doll Eyes to counter Icicle Spear and set up my Trick Room. Still, lost the battle to Sucker Punches and Ice Shards. But it was still nice to show that the one evolution with a 0% pick rate had some viability. Emphasis on the word some. Next battle, surely I'll win, right? No, I was losing to a justified Lucario with extreme speed. I was forced to tear my Espeon to take it out, and I forfeited after surviving a Koto Cleave and a Bug Buzz from Volcarona while still in the trick room. But the next I would win, no, no, I lost to a Quiver Dancing Lilligant and Great Tusk in the Sun. I was, I was super depressed. I was losing to everything literally under the sun. If this had been my normal team, I would have had answers, responses, and won most of these fights. After five losses in a row, I was growing more desperate, more hopeless for this dumb gimmick idea that I thought would be a nice challenge, and instead it was making me feel like a loser and making my team look pathetic. Then, on my next fight, I stare down a Gudra and a Talonflame, and I get the perfect read. I set up Trick Room, break Talonflame's Gale Wing's ability after it goes Tailwind, and survive a Terra boosted Muddy Water from Gudra. I go for Terra Normal Facade, I go for Psychic, and I knock out both of his leads, Toot Sweet, 
I had the advantage. I had the numbers, the speed tier in my favor, and right when I thought my evolutions had caused a rage quit, giving my team a desperately needed source of hope after five losses in a row because my opponent still had two Paradox Pokemon to call upon, both of whom were very ineffective in the Trick Room, I got DC'd, resulting in the battle being forfeited and counted as a loss for me. Y you know, I, I tried again. I tried to inspire my evolutions for one more round, but combined with my internet starting to act up at this point, my stream was lagging badly, and the next opponent brought a Fluttermane with Booster Energy and Orangu with Symbiosis, giving it a choice specs after boosting its speed, and then sweeping aside one of my evolutions before I had to throw out the Flare Blitz just to stand a chance, and then staring down a Cerulege that just ran through my Leafeon and Flareon, leaving my Vaporeon alone against three Pokemon, one of whom was the Terra Grass Cerulege. I just couldn't muster the energy. Seven losses in a row. Seven after one single win in Great Ball against a team with the Lorantis being my only boast to glory in rank. You know, I would count the DC match as a victory, but I didn't know what he had in the back. So I was still unsure if what he had would result in a potential match or if I would have won hands down, given how the field looked at the time. So, after seven losses, one of which was a DC loss, I had to accept that Evolutions only. A nice challenge against my viewers in casual battles, but in ladder is nothing short of emotional torture. Maybe I could have tried Quick Feet Jolteon with disruption options like maybe Fake Tears, Yawn, or Eerie Impulse and Thunder Wave. At that point, I'm better off using a different team due to just how slow the evolutions are, with Jolteon being the fastest of them. So, that is my story of how I tried to get evolutions to Master Ball and learn just how bad they are when used together instead of apart. Evolutions are good when used in conjunction with other teams, but Used together, outside of a singles format, they just lack the response options that many other Pokemon have. They have no fake outs, no way to counter terrains, no redirection options, no way to outspeed, and with exception to Sylveon, rely on other Pokemon to be effective. So, lesson learned. Don't use an entire team of evolutions to try to get to Master Ball. I'll see you all next time. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye-bye! Trust in me, then I'll trust in you There's nothing more that I need to do If you put 